Welcome in PHP tutorial. In this tutorial, we will integrate bar chart in our PHP script. So you can see in my screen, I already uh, implement uh, statically bar chart in here. It's very simple. Let's just describe uh, very shortly. For example, I'm using here the charges. So you, you have to go in charges.org for get this bar chart. There is lots of chart in here. There's the chart types, and you can see some other chart also, line chart, data chart, other chart in here. So we will just uh, implement this bar, implement this bar chart. So how I have integrated this bar chart aesthetically. Uh, so I, I'm just going to explain very shortly. So first, I have just created. I have just clicked on this link. That means the getting is started. So when I've just, uh, and then I just clicked on getting started. And you can see I have first taken this CDN and then I also taken this div. So if you go and see my script, you can see that this is the CDN that I have given and this is the div that I have taken. Uh, copy and paste in here, just nothing else. And you can see this, this is the script tag and below this script tag, this line also I have taken from here the initialize of your uh, JS chart. So you can see they have given this script and this is the bar chart initializes, initialized. So this line I have just given the bottom of the page and before the script tag. And next you can see there in, in here uh, there is the uh, two variable in here. One is the levels and another is data. These two I have taken from these chart types and this is the bar chart. So in here you will see that setup, this is the level and data. These two I have taken from here, just copy and paste here, levels and data. And this is the config, another variable, which I have taken from here. Okay. So I have just one change that I have made from this uh, all copy paste things that is this level variable so if you can if you are seeing in here they have used the utils uh, class in here utils and dot months method i have just removed it and i just uh, put some manual month in here using the array so this is the level january february that i have given i have just ch changed this line Okay, so this uh, source I already uh, provided under video description. You can just take it and just put it in any PHP script. Then you can just go, the, uh, you can follow my instruction now. So we'll implement this one, this bar chart by uh, a summary report. So I've just uh, already created a table called transactions. And in this transaction, I have written a um, query and you can see here I have just taken the month name and sum of amount from this transaction and it's group by month name so if you just run this query you will see the month name in here and the amount in here so we will just uh, take this from here and dynamically we will replace in here in x-axis we will see the month name and y-axis we will see the amount of month so let's see so in very beginning after the body tag i'm just going to is, start by a php tag and in very informal way i'm just um, establish going to establish the uh, my php connection by my sqli and here the first thing i'm just going to give the host name localhost and username password and database name and the second thing that I will do I will use a uh, function or method that call query and in this query method I will just pass the uh, SQL that I have written in here I'm just going to copy this uh, copy this lines and just going to paste it in here So next thing that I will do, I will just take this query in a variable. 
so my variable name will be query and then I will just uh, make it uh, give a for each loop and here I will uh, implement this for each loop on query data and now I will take the take two variables in here one is called month and another is called amount and this two array will be now look like month and this amount and here I will just take the array index data month name this month name and the second I will just take this amount that's it so now I will just change this line I will convert it statically to dynamic so I'm just removing this line and just going to write a PHP tag and just going to give echo and I'm going to use PHP function JSON encode and in this encode I will just pass the month name that's all month this month variable after pass if you just go now in browser and just uh, see that what's happening here you can see the month has implemented already dynamically April to May and here you can see after I run this script you will get you will see the April to May has implemented the next thing is very easy in this data you just do the same thing you have to do the same thing just copy this line and paste it in here and just change it month to amount save go in browser and just reload it and you can see the in y-axis you are seeing now the total amount in a month so july june and may has 120 total amount and april it is 100 so that's the today's tutorial thank you for watching welcome for the next tutorial